Hey, what's going on, everybody? I am Riley McShane, singer for Legion, and today I'm going to be unboxing our new LP for Damnum out February 25th on Metal Blade Records. So, super sick, I gotta say. I'm very stoked with how these came out. Uh, when we were doing the artwork, like conversations with Travis Smith, the guy who did uh, the art for us, he's done tons of cool stuff. Um, he's done art for Flesh God and Opeth and Death and like countless other bands. Um, and it's always really fun working with him on stuff. But when we were talking about the art, I was, I had like a lot of ideas, like a lot of stuff that I wanted to fit in there that I was worried wouldn't quite translate into like a little jewel case CD slip, right? Uh, so seeing this blown up to this size is so sick because there's so much cool stuff to look at here. So let's uh, take a look at it together. So I love the way this album cover turned out. As I mentioned, it's super detailed. There's a lot going on in here. Uh, when I was talking with Travis and he was like, well, what kind of vibe are you going for? I was like, I want it to be representative of music, right? Like I want the image to match with the mood that we were trying to go for. So, you know, we ended up with this image that's very like busy. It's almost like anxiety inducing because um, there's just so much to look at it at first. And then once you kind of like dive into the details, it becomes a little less overwhelming. Um, so I'm hoping that when people listen to the album, especially this LP, they'll kind of have the cover art in hand and be able to dissect it as the music plays. We also have this back cover here that I think is a really cool visual trick. Uh, obviously from this angle, it looks like an eye behind bars. Uh, you have your track listing listed kind of sideways, but then when you turn it, to read the tracks, it almost becomes like a separate image up above there with the horizontal bars and the eye still kind of behind it. Up in the corner, you can kind of see what almost looks like an ear uh, that you don't really notice until you start looking at it from this angle. So that's another super, super cool thing that I really enjoy about the way that this uh, album art is put in. We of course have the gatefold on the inside, uh, kind of just blown up details from the front cover. But you know, one thing I really love about this art is that no matter how much you zoom on it, it like really doesn't lose a whole lot of quality it just becomes that much more detailed. Um, I love the way that the little orb stands out this just little piece of blue and this otherwise just very like dark orange and brown kind of backdrop and setting. Uh, super, super cool. Really, really like this. Again, Travis Smith did all the art for this, so definitely check him out and his company Seed Pieces if you have somehow not heard of him or seen his work all the Without further ado, let's uh, let's get onto these discs, shall we? So I have two versions here. I have the uh, Fire uh, variant and the Gold and Bone variant. So this one's going to be two discs that are relatively similar to each other, but this one's going to be two different colors entirely. So let's start with the, uh, the Fire version. All right, so I've got the Fire version in hand here. Let's check this out. Oh, that's beautiful. That is gorgeous. So, we obviously have our different images in the center on each side. Maybe this is side one and two. And, like, just look at how rad that matches up with the actual album art. So, uh, fitting. You know what I mean? It's just like 
fun to pull out of this album art, just visually appetizing. So, yeah, really like that. Uh, obviously, you're gonna get differences between the two. Let's uh, let's compare them side by side, shall we? So this is side three and four of the fire version, and as you can probably see, let me stand these up next to each other. No two printings are gonna be the same. You're gonna have different swirling on every one. So no matter what album you get with these types of variants, it's gonna be unique to your copy. It's basically just an NFT, that's all it is. It's just <laughs> so this is the fire version of the LP. And before I move on to gold and bone, I would be remiss not to show off the lyric sheet that has all the credits and special thanks on it. So let's take a look at that real quick. All right, so every copy of the album obviously comes with one of these. You're gonna get your lyric sheet in there. Uh, this front side has a little bit of production credit on the side. I really love the way everything is laid out on this. I also love the contrast between the front side and the back side as far as colors go. I love like label maker looking titles. I love how like typewritery the actual lyrics themselves look. Um, Another cool thing that we do on this one is that at the end of every set of lyrics, it shows you who does what guitar solo when. So the first solo you hear will be Greg, or the second solo will be Mike, or so on and so forth. Um, so for those of you guitar nerds out there, got a special little treat for you in the form of that. But uh, yeah, this is the lyric sheet. And uh, without further ado, let's check out the gold and bone variants. All right, so nothing really separating these two uh, externally, but internally, quite the difference. Uh, these ones are not marbled, they're just solid color, and uh, they are super sick. So here we have the bone version. You can see it's like a white, but it's got almost like a cream color to it. Uh, again, when you stack this next to the album art, it just looks so cool. Like, such a dope contrast between the two. Uh, but the gold one, that's where it's at. So this gold LP is also a solid color. Oh, look at that. Just look at it. It's probably the closest I'm ever going to come to holding an actual gold record, so... But yeah, same art, uh, same art on this one, uh, flipped over to the other side. Again, when you look at the contrast between this color and the actual album art, so sick, so clean. Uh, I am so happy with the way these turned out, and I hope that when you get your hands on yours, you'll be just as stoked as I am. Well, thank you everybody for watching. I appreciate you taking the time. If you haven't gotten your copy of one of these yet, pre-order it now. You can go to metalblade.com slash allegiant. Direct yourself over to Night Shift merch for North America or Kings Road for Europe. What's cool about me having these right now means that when you order yours, it will be ready and delivered by release date. No waiting for vinyl on this album. So if that's something that you've been worried about, you can uh, rest easy knowing that your vinyl will be there February 25th, the day that Damn One comes out on Metal Blade Records. Thanks again for watching, everybody. I am Riley, singer for this band, Allegion, and I will see you all very soon.